Hey guys, welcome to our Lower Body Blast. I'm Dan with kick 55 Fitness, and today the equipment you will need are some dumbbells. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click push notifications to stay up to date with all our current workouts. All right guys, let's get you warmed up. We're gonna start with some Spider-Mans today, so go ahead, get in a plank position, and we're gonna start, get that knee up, little bend, and then switch. Good, think about like Spider-Man climbing up a wall. Good, getting some mobility for our legs today. Good, 10 seconds. After that, we'll go into a lunge mobility drill. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, next, we're gonna go ahead. Assume a lunge position. You're gonna bend into that front knee. Change your angle to 45. Change your angle to 90. And then bring it back. Good. So we'll do this side first. And then the next circuit, we'll do the other side. Good. Back. You should feel that in that back hip, getting different angles. Mobilizing that capsule. Good. Four, three, two, one. Good. Next, we're going to squat jumps. 30 seconds. Ready and go. Good. Soft landing. And explode up. Good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Back to those Spider-Mans. Get the plank position ready. Go. Good. There we go. Nice and loose hips. Good, get that leg up as high as you can, really stretch. Remember, active dynamic. 10 seconds. Two, one, good. Now we're gonna do the other lunge, other leg back now. Go down, switch the angle. So as you see, we are mobilizing the hip joint to get different capsular rotations. Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Squat jumps, ready, and go. There you go, good guys. Get nice and loose at this point. Halfway. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, nice. Should be nice and warmed up now. All right guys, so circuit number one, we're gonna start with the single leg RDL. Let's explain what's going on here. We're gonna be on our one leg. Back is gonna stay flat the whole time, no rotation in the hips. You're gonna bend on over in that hip. You're hinging just until you feel it in the hamstring when you get to that point. Notice how I'm not rotated. Here, I'm gonna squeeze my left glute and hip thrust forward. You can make it a balance drill by not touching down or stepping down, or you can just come up, tap, and then go back down into it. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, ready and go. Back, up, good. So you want your knee to be soft. You never want our knee locked out. You don't even have to go that far. What you'll find is the further I go down, I'll start rounding in my spine. We don't want that. So nice, flat, low back. 10 seconds, good. Good. Three, two, one. Now switch. Now you can hold it in your opposite hand, the weight. You can hold it in the same side hand. It'll just change the angle but the regular mechanics stay the same. Flat back, squeeze at the, bottom, at the bottom, hip thrust forward. This is hamstring eccentrics, and then a glute as well. 10 seconds, good. Good, if you want to counterbalance, put your hand out in front like Superman. Two, one, good. Next, we're gonna do some alternating lateral lunges. So you can hold the weight wherever you want. Nice wide feet, I'll hold it down here. 30 seconds, go. Good, so with this, you gotta stay, keep the weight on your heels. 
So anytime we're doing a glute exercise like lunges, we want to push through our heel. We don't want to go into the front of our foot. We don't want our knee to go too far in front of our toes. Good. Excellent. Three, two, one. Good. This next one. Go ahead and get yourself another dumbbell. We're going to do a, very, a close leg squat. Hold the dumbbells up here or by the side. 30, uh, we're going to do 10. Ready? And go. Good. Halfway. Good. Doing great, guys. Six. Back tall. Seven. Yep. Eight. And nine. Good. And ten. Good. Go ahead. Put that dumbbell down if you want. We're going back to those RDLs. That was our first round. We're going two more rounds. Ready? And go. 30 seconds. There you go. Now, as you get a little more tired, your form is going to be a little worse. This is why it's super important not to do too heavy weight and to realize the form is more important. Good. Well done. Feeling that in the hammy. Hamstrings are all about eccentrics. They decelerate as we walk or run. So we want to train that way. That's why I'm not huge on regular hamstring curls. Three, two, one. Good. And switch. All right, other hand. Good. Building balance work as well. Stability in our little intrinsic muscles throughout our feet, knee, and hip. Good. Yep, you guys are doing great. Sometimes you may lose your balance a little bit. That's okay, just refocus. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back to those lateral lunges. Remember, stay on your heel. Go, 30 seconds. Up and to the other side. You should feel the stretch in your groin there. That's how you know you've gone far enough. Push through that heel, right through that glute, posterior chain. Nice, good. Got 10 seconds, doing great, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Back to those close grip squats, close, close leg. Going for 15 this time, ready, go. Good. Good knee stability. No buckling. Not leaning over at our spine, keeping our back tall. Sitting back in the chair, good. Eight. Nine. Ten, five more. One. Two, good guys, well done. Three, four, last one, and five. All right, circuit. Third round, ready? All out, 30 seconds, go. There you go, good. You're gonna start feeling a little tired, so just don't go as far down, so you don't start rounding the low back or rotating externally in the hip like that. Good. 10 seconds. You guys are doing great so far. Whew. You may find that you get some arch pain while you're balancing too much. Just tells you that we got to keep practicing and build that endurance and this dynamic balancing. And that will help you with your explosive power if you're trying to go to any sport. Good. Whoosh. Doing great, guys. Well done. We got 10 seconds. Nice. Whoosh. Ah. Good. Three, two, one. Lateral lunges, hit it. Go. Good. Try not to look down. When you look down, you stick your butt back. We lose our form. You want your body tall, as tall as it can be. Good, strong core. Whoosh. Good, 10 seconds, you guys are crushing it. Well done. See how my knees are perfectly aligned with my second toe when I bend. We want to avoid any collapsing of the knee inwards. Good, all right, get that other dumbbell. Going for 20 close, ready, go. Good, four, five. You can hold them up here too if you want. Six, seven. If you really want to be daring, hold them up here. It makes it way harder on your mobility. Good. 10, 
10 more, come on. Two, good. Three, good. Four, easy stuff, right? Five, come on. It's easy because you're strong, because you've been practicing. Eight, nine, and 10. Well done, guys, get a little bit of water, that was awesome. All right, guys, circuit number two. Go ahead, get two dumbbells. We're gonna start with a sumo squat. So that's gonna be wide legs with some external rotation in our feet. Keep your back tall. Try to get your toes and knees in alignment as you do this. Don't try to let the knees buckle inwards. Going for 30 seconds. Ready, and go. Back tall, don't look down. That'll mess up your form. Good. Shoulder blades back. Keep that good extension posture. Squeeze through those glutes. Whoosh. Good, 10 seconds. Well done, guys. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead, put one of those weights down or both if this one, next one's gonna be tough. It's a skater squat. So hold the dumbbell wherever you're comfortable. As a skater squat goes, you're just going down. It's a single leg and then come back up. You can hold this wherever you need. 30 seconds, go. Good. So this one, we are bending the knee, unlike the RDL. Good. Back tall, push through the heel. Good, come on. Whoo, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and then switch, 30 seconds, ready, and go. As you guys can tell, working out with me, I love single leg stuff. Unilateral training actually helps increase your bilateral training. This means if you do heavier on single leg than you do on double leg, you will improve your double leg. 10 seconds. It's all about knee control too. As a therapist, it's important to keep healthy. Three. Two, one, now I'm going to dumbbell swings. Ready, going for 15, go. Good, keep the knees soft and use the momentum. Eight, nine, really hip thrust forward, get that power. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, well done, okay. Back to those sumo squats. 30 seconds, hit it. Good. Now notice, my groin flexibility isn't great, so my knees will stay inside my toes for this. In a perfect world, we'd be able to have them in good alignment. That's why it's important to stretch your adductors, myself included. Good, 10 seconds. Good. Squeeze through that glute. Three, two, one, skaters, 30 seconds, go. Good. You may find that your knee wants to start falling inwards or buckling. That comes from weakness in your hip. Don't let your hip collapse. We build a bad wear pattern. You want second toe, kneecap, hip bone alignment. That's what we're looking for. Three, two, one, switch. Whoo, that one gets me. Ready, go. Good. So the other knee can stay bent or straighten. We're just trying to go as low as we're comfortable without collapsing, without falling. Good. You guys are crushing it so far, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, swings, ready, 15 of them, go. Ah. So the arms are just an extension of the hip here. We're not using our arms to lift the dumbbell. It's just swinging. Our hip thrust forward is what swings the dumbbell up. Good. Nine, 10, one, two, come on, three, Four, last one, five, good, all right. Round three, back to those sumos, ready. Nice wide feet, rotate it out, go. Good. 
So when we do squats, typically you've been told keep your feet straight, don't rotate externally. However, with sumo squats, the reason we do this is because you can go lower down because it clears the hip bones. So as we go down, our bones don't hit into each other as they would if our legs are straight. This is why you can go further down with the sumo squat. Good. Skaters, hit it. As you see, that knee gets tired, it starts collapsing. Focus on your form. Good. Whew. 10 seconds. Whew. Three, two, one. Good switch. Guys are doing great. Almost there. Hit it 30 seconds. Good. Whew. Squeeze through that heel. Push through that glute. Squeeze at the top. Single leg work. Balance, stability, strength. This is how you become an athlete. Three, two, one, 15 more kettlebell swings to get some water. Go. One, two, four. Come on. All out. I know you're tired now. Come on. Seven, eight. Come on. Ten. Five more. Hit it. Just five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Get a little bit of water, guys. Well done. Okay, guys, third and final circuit. Go ahead. If you want a dumbbell, you can get one. If you don't, that's fine too. You're going to lay on your back. We're going to just do regular old bridges. Let's talk about our form here. You want to tuck your pelvis first, squeeze your glutes, and then lift. Good. And then relax. Let's do 30 seconds. Go. If you find that this one hurts your back, what's happening is you're not pelvic tilting first. We've talked about that in other talks and lectures. Go ahead, flatten your back against the, the floor first. That tightens, and you keep that tight the whole time. Good, five seconds. Going like the double leg RDL next. Two, one, good. Go ahead, come on up. Now with double leg RDLs, just like single leg, we're gonna keep our knees soft, shoulder blades back. We're gonna push our butt backwards. See how my back stays straight? There's no rounding in the spine, and I go just till I feel it, hip thrust forward. All right, if I go too far, watch on my back rounds. That's how you get a herniated disc. It's all about form, 30 seconds, go. Good. See how my shoulder blades are back? I have that all extension in my back. No rounding in the low back. Head stays up. Knees are always soft. You don't lock. And really, you don't have to go that far. The misconception with RDLs or deadlifts is you have to go from the ground going to end up hurting your back. Three, two, one. Okay, next, going to alternating lunges. Go, 30 seconds. Good, big step. Push through that heel. Push up. Good. Explode up. Good. You guys are crushing it today. Easy stuff. Back into the game. You guys must be proud of yourselves. Somebody else is doing nothing right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we have to do our calf raises, 20 of them. Ready, go. Squeeze on that big toe. Stay on the big toe, not to the pinkies. Three. Ah, good. Five. Notice how you probably want to go to your pinky toe. It's very important to stay on the big toe as you go up. Nine, good. 10, 10 more. Ready, hit them. One. Squeeze at the top. Two, three, hold. Four, five, five more. We're doing this one with our legs straight. Get the gastrocnemius, that's the big meaty calf muscle. If you do your knees bent, you get a different one. Three, two, one, good. Okay, back to those bridges. Put one of the dumbbells down on your back. 30 seconds, ready. Pelvic tilt first, flatten that back out, then lift. Control, good. As you see on the way down, you're gonna lose that. That's why it's important to hold it the whole time. If you do this exercise right, it'll save your low back. It'll activate your glutes more than your hamstrings. We've talked about in the past, overactive hamstrings, underactive glutes. This one's great. 
to reverse that. Two, one, good. Okay, guys, doing great. Going back to those deadlifts next. All right, shoulder blades back, knees are soft. Push your butt back. Right to there, hold, squeeze, hip thrust forward. Good. So I'm staying in the same plane. I always think the way I was taught is you're pushing the wall back with your butt. That way we get the hip hinge and really lengthen those hammies. Good. 10 seconds, guys, doing great. Going to our lunges next. Five, four, three, two, beautiful. Alternating lunges, 30 seconds, hit it. Good job. Well done, guys, keep going. Think about all your friends who wanted to drink and party instead of work out. Who's more disciplined? Build the proper patterns in your life and the universe will reward you. Come on, four, three, two, one, good, calf raises ready, go. 20 of them, two, control, three, four, five, come on, six, seven, doing great, nine, halfway, 10, 10 more, come on, one, two, three, four, Five, six, come on. I know they hurt. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, last round, guys, and we're done. Get yourself some protein ready. 30 seconds. Go. Good. Now, if this exercise is too easy for you, if this workout, go ahead, pause the video, do some extra sets, extra reps. Good. Keep that back flat. You're going to start losing it as you get fatigued and your focus starts to wane. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. RDLs. Come on. Finish strong, guys. Doing great. Ready. And go. Good. Notice how even my shoulder blades are down and back. Right? No rounding. We don't want to be round in our spine. Think about your spine like a clothes hanger. If you constantly bend it back and forth without proper form, what's gonna happen to that clothes hanger? Good. Come on, 10 seconds. Well done, guys. Two, one, lunges, hit them. All out, guys, we're almost done. We're almost finished. You should be proud of yourself. You should build some confidence in your life. Doing hard things that you don't want to do. That is how we build our discipline. That is how we help our motivation. And that is how we make ourselves proud of ourselves. Good, come on. Doing great, guys. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on, really push it here. We're almost done. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, 20 calf raises and then we're done. Hit it all out. No break. If you're getting tired, if your breathing's hard, in through your nose. Hold it. Exhale through the mouth. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 more. If you feel like you want more after this, nice little challenge for you. Try to single leg balance for a minute. If that's easy, try to do it with your eyes closed. Good. Three, two, one. Did it. Excellent job today, guys. Crushed it. Thank you for joining us today. In honor of the new year, we're hosting a contest. It's called the New Year, New Me 90 Day Challenge. We're going to help you stay consistent with your workouts and achieve your dream body goals in the new year. Check out our description below and join our New Year New Me Facebook group page. You'll also learn how to register for the contest. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts. 